Hello and welcome to this uh, Flash game development. I will be addressing this scenario in front of you as part of your mock exam. And uh, you will be getting the solution, a partial solution. Uh, the rest of the items which you have already done before in your previous project, you will not get to see them um, redrawn or recreated again in this project. However, I will show you the, the critical points after which you will be able to do the complete project in your exam yourself which is this um, how to tie a, create a gun and tie it to a mouse if you've not already known how to do this and how to create targets and how to fire the bullets the rest the timer and the random generation is something which you know already and you can copy and paste the code for your final mock exam yourself um, okay let's start I've created a new flash movie right now the first thing I need to do is to create my objects which I will be using during my game which is number one uh, the targets number two the guns so let's create the targets um, okay uh, i'll go create new symbol it will be my target and make it a movie clip make sure it is exported for action script so that you can use this in your script and okay and just tell in ps okay because it will add the files to the runtime and create some target let's say i am creating a reasonable target right now reasonable size i mean uh, this much okay yeah, this is my target and when you're creating layers just make sure you have two different layers for actions so it's uh, kind of convenient and easy to manage your code later on uh, and differentiate the code from the objects and likewise from your previous projects please create new keyframes the first keyframe uh, you will have the initial position set so let's go to the action and write the initial position of this guy it will be this you can create some extra text I go to Just uh, so that it appears that the objects are being generated randomly. Plus, plus, plus random. Okay, let's. Uh, them randomly but if you want you can create the x or y one of these constant so to do that you need to leave one of these values constant and not change them to uh, to matter random and not in the next keyframes also you should not be changing them so let's say the initial values were random but the next ones only only y is being moved or only x is being moved not y okay so let's do this insert new keyframe insert new keyframe here again and this dot x plus equal to this dot x plus that mean the current position okay let me write some code being impacted at all so it, the height will not be moved it will not be changed and we go to the first keyframe we we'll go to and play two okay so now it will be an endless loop it will keep continuing and changing its position uh, randomly and you, when you will shoot from the gun this is considered the target when you will shoot from the gun uh, then is when it will hit this object and then you know hit test object and then is when you will actually hit it that's all so let's uh, now see we have created one target and it is having an initial position and then the next position and the third position oh, the, this will be uh, being 
played in a loop like this, then you actually add the object on the state between second and third. So now let's go back to my main scene and create my gun, which should be something like this. And also move clip, for action clip. Okay. Okay. So the gun should be something like uh, let's create something very simple, which is uh, let's call it sort of a rectangle like this. Give it a different color, maybe. object also created and then I need to create my bullets bullet also is supposed to be movie clip okay so I've got my bullet my gun and my target ready okay. almost so let's create a bullet should be something like a small circle and let's change the color so that we know what is moving something like this okay, so I have a bullet now but I don't I have not uh, described the position and how it will be acting so let's the first keyframe create its x position you know how to define x and y x dot x go to root dot mouse x yes dot y is equal to root dot mouse y and you can find the first position the initial position of this object now let's create the next action in the second one, in the second keyframe, you know the last keyframe will be what? Go to and play two. But over here, you are supposed to change the object's position. So let's make it um, this dot. You know, since this will be traveling upwards, so this dot y. Every time its y will be increasing. So, or if you want to be, uh, you make it a little bit faster. Plus two, y plus two, or plus four. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
action player sorry it should be added in this layer not the action layer and call it gun okay in the action layer we need to go and add it base dot add child gun mouse or i can copy and paste the code which i had from my previous project uh Change the code from where I copied to make it uh, valid for gun mouse object, and all this will create is do is actually make the object your mouse. That the gun will be will be, will be tied to your mouse. Within this code, your mouse is being tied to the, the gun. And now, what you want to do is when you click on this object, when you, when you have a click, when you do a click over here, then uh, you need to fire something, you need to fire a bullet, remember? So, let's also create that code. Okay, so what I need to do, do now is to click on this object and whenever this is, uh, I do a mouse click over here because this is already tied to my mouse, I need to, sh to shoot a bullet. So let's uh, click on this object, go to code snippet, come into event handlers and mouse click event. Just double click mouse event, mouse click event, it will auto generate the code for you. In the method, come directly, delete this, you know what you need to do, you need to create objects for this target right uh, sorry you need to create objects for this bullet so the bullet is generated okay so let's create the r call it a uh, bullet obj type is bullet is 35 spelling name yes bullet okay small letters Good name. you can do this because it's a child of a vehicle So I've got the mouse gun. Let's start firing. Okay, the fire does not happen. Let's see why it does not happen. Okay, sometimes what may happen is that your gun mouse event is not working. So what you're doing is actually you are clicking over here. So you should you should be clicking on this gun. So the event handler says if if this gun is clicked by a mouse then do this I sometimes if it may not work then what you do you you need to catch the event on the stage so for you if it's not working try doing this and then play yeah so now it does work your bullets are being fired now hooray so the rest of the items of the project you already know and I want you guys to work on it uh, so hopefully we will create a very nice uh, game. So let me just end this. If anybody wants, you can refer to this code. This is on the first screen. This the the parents uh, scene, and I have two more objects. There's one gun, and it's a simple gun. There's no action script in this movie clip. Uh, the last object is the target. I have not used this anymore right now, but you, when you create your own uh, project, you will be creating targets. Okay, so that's it for today.